What's going on guys? It's your boy Dipsy and today I want to talk about why some people have more confidence than others and if you are one of these people who you have a hard time establishing confidence within yourself this video is going to greatly help you because I'm going to break down on a scientific basis why you have a lack of confidence so I'm not sure if you guys are aware of this you have somewhere between about 20,000 to 50,000 conscious and subconscious thoughts a day. So when you look at successful people in any field, any industry, they tend to carry themselves a certain type of way. And it's because the level of success that they've reached has given them proof that their methods are working, which in turn, gives them a strong sense of confidence. I mean, they could have had confidence going into whatever they were doing, but their confidence has definitely skyrocketed after the success. You take Drake, for example, he was moving a lot different, man, back when he was making his first songs, like Over, and uh, he was just getting signed to his label. He's a lot more confident nowadays simply because he has millions of people telling him he's that dude. So obviously, he's gonna move accordingly. but. When it comes to your lack of confidence, you're not utilizing the principle of auto-suggestion in the manner that you should. You see, I just said that the average person has between 20 and 50,000 subconscious and conscious thoughts, but the real power is in your subconscious, and you can program your subconscious by consciously auto-suggesting positive affirmations. So, let's say for example like a lot of dudes do this a lot of dudes say i'm ugly you don't understand guys that's not some that's not something light that you're doing you're literally utilizing the principle of auto suggestion in a negative manner and that thought gets recycled in your brain day after day after day until it eventually becomes your reality so yes a lot of you guys are manifesting your own negative realities because you are not using the principle of auto-suggestion in the correct way. So it's all about what you put into your brain. Your inner self is gonna reflect your outer self. That's a fact. So an easy step to becoming more confident is you have to slowly but surely change the way you think about yourself, even if it isn't your current reality. That, that saying, fake it till you make it, is real. You have to fake like your high value until you eventually become high value. That doesn't mean you're a phony baloney fake to the end of your days. It just means you fake it until you're in a position to make it your reality. So you might not be big your first day going to the gym. You don't, you have, you don't have the muscle mass, but you have to tell yourself, I'm strong. I'm getting stronger after every workout. And you'll notice your posture is gonna change. You're gonna be able to get stronger quicker because you're more motivated, because you're giving yourself positive thoughts and affirmations. When it comes to talking to people, the way you wanna to talk to them, you make eye contact. You know why? Because you tell yourself, I'm confident, I know who I am. I'm not gonna get rattled by whatever is said in this discussion. You can't say, I'm bad with people. I don't have confidence because I'm bad. I don't know how to talk to people. You're using the principle in the wrong way. You have to change the way you're using the principle of auto-suggestion. How are you gonna be able to do some if you've already told your mind you don't have the ability to do it? You don't have to wait until you're, see, see people wanna wait till they see success to have the confidence. That's not how it works. You have to have the confidence before the success, before people see that you're in an established position. So I want you guys to change the way you think about yourself. If someone has high self-esteem and they talk to you, they come off as arrogant, they come off as very confident, very cocky, that just shows you the type of things they're saying to themselves. You can always tell how someone thinks of themselves based off of how they move and it's because of this one principle, the principle of auto-suggestion. That's a fact. So guys, if you don't have confidence, that simply means you don't think of yourself in a high enough esteem. And the only way to change that is through repetition and through simply day by day changing how you think. Because if you don't change how you think, 
these thousands of thoughts are going to circulate through your head and constantly weigh you down more and more and you're not going to be able to establish a footing that allows you to to build confidence it's not going to happen day by day what are you going to do are you going to sit back and allow someone who has more confidence not necessarily as much skill as you but more confidence than you take what you deserve or are you going to finally value yourself and say you know what i am somebody i'm going to get on my feet and i'm going to change the way i think about myself because what happens is you change the way you think about yourself and you slowly start to see your life line up with how you think you're not going to manifest the life you want until you think about yourself in a high regard a high self-esteem how many guys do you guys how many people in your life do you know who have all the talent in the world you see them like hey this dude's that dude he just doesn't know it but they don't see themselves as that and they don't even eventually go far because they don't have that belief in themselves that's all it is success is more about nuts more than it's about who's qualified that's the truth you want to be qualified but it's about the guts to put yourself out there and you're only going to get that when you change the way you think about yourself this has been a dipsy video hope you guys enjoyed I'm going to catch y'all later, man. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to catch y'all later, man. Peace out.